All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you the cartwheel. Okay, so the cartwheel is a super easy move. It's one of the easiest moves you can possibly learn. The cartwheel is a pretty cool move by itself, but it can also be used as a progression to go into the round off and the aerial. So the cartwheel is a very basic move. I know a lot of people when they start off, they do something like this. Okay, that is not the cartwheel at all. Obviously everyone has to start somewhere, but it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna teach you. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it the right way. All right, before you learn the cartwheel, you should probably know how to do a handstand. I don't currently have a tutorial on the handstand, but you can go out on YouTube and find one. You don't even have to have that good of a handstand, honestly. You just have to know at least how to do one. So this should be a pretty short tutorial because the cartwheel is extremely basic. I'm probably gonna spend more time teaching you the progressions and common fears that people have than the actual tutorial itself. When you do a cartwheel, you wanna have your hands up, okay? You do not, you don't wanna be like forward because that's why people, they do this. Okay, when you're doing the cartwheel, you're not reaching in front of you, you're reaching to the side of you. You should imagine that there's a line right there. You can, you can actually find a line. If you can get some chalk, you can draw a line or just imagine one, and you ought to be doing a cartwheel on the line. All right, so you're gonna reach down, and when you place your hand on the ground, you wanna make sure that it's lined up with your foot. You don't wanna be going and doing something weird like that. You don't wanna be like reaching back and doing whatever that was. So when you go over, make sure that your hands, not just your first hand, but both of your hands are lined up with your foot. And then you got a cartwheel, it's that easy. Literally all you're doing is going over onto one hand and then you go onto the other hand and then your feet touch the ground and you're done. All right, let's go over some common fears. A lot of people are scared that whenever they do their cartwheel, they're gonna like fall backwards or something. Like they're gonna go over and whenever they're upside down, they're gonna fall and land on their backs. Okay, that will not happen. That is like the most absurd thing I've ever heard when it comes to the cartwheel. I've done like way too many cartwheels to even count and I have never done that one time. The only thing you need to worry about when it comes to leaning is going forward. Another common fear that people have is whenever they go upside down, their arms aren't gonna be able to support their weight or something and they're gonna do something like this. Okay, that will never happen. That, that, that just, that doesn't even make sense. The cartwheel involves pretty much no strength whatsoever. It's really all about balance and just being lined up. I mean, here's the thing, I can do one with just one hand. And I'm not even like strong at all. All right, let's go over the progressions for this. So like I said before, you ought to know how to do a handstand. You don't have to have it mastered because I don't have it mastered, but you, you should just know how to do one. And I also said this one, but have a line. It's important to actually have a line there instead of just envisioning it. It's a lot better to actually have a real line there that you can follow. You can just get some really cheap chalk, just draw a line. You can find lines that are already painted there. You can really just find any line whatsoever. Another progression is to imagine there's a wall, and it's even better to have a real wall. But if you don't have a real wall, which you probably should, but if you don't, just imagine there's a wall there, okay? When you're doing the car wheel, you don't want to touch the wall. Obviously, if you do this, okay, you're gonna touch the wall, and you can't do that. So one thing that really helps is just to have a wall there and you don't have to be right up close to it because I know that can be kind of scary for your first time. You can be like about a foot away, do a car wheel up in front of the wall. Once you're comfortable with that, get a little bit closer to the wall and just do car wheels and eventually you're going to be completely straight. The thing is with the car wheel, in the air, you're doing this. Like that's what your body is supposed to look like when you're doing the car wheel. So again, I'll break the car wheel down one last time. So you're standing there. You reach over, make sure they're not reaching forward, you're not reaching behind you, make sure that your body is lined up. Reach over, place your first hand on the ground, place your second hand, and land it. So this is what it should look like. All right, so that is it for the cartwheel. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comment section, and I'll be 100% sure to answer them. Be sure to leave a comment if this tutorial helped you out. Drop a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time.